hardwares. So hardware are the physical components of things, but in the context of information technology, the physical devices uh, of information technology. And we often think of information technology in two ways, hardware and software. So here are some pictures of the devices uh, that we call computers or have a computer component to it. And the first image here is, oops, Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi is a kind of a mini computer that you can fit on your hand. And you can see it's an integrated circuit or circuitry. And it has a microchip and it has other input and output devices. So you can plug a keyboard in and you can plug a screen to go out. And you can use this as essentially the, the entirety of the microprocessing and motherboard of a computer. Um, other devices like video game consoles, uh, Xbox, PlayStation, these are computers because they have microchips and they process data in a similar way uh, to computers. Although, of course, their function is more limited, although nowadays, too, they are kind of expanding. Uh, smartphones, what we call quote unquote smartphone. Uh, these are essentially computers. They're just um, kind of like a laptop or an iPad, which is also a computer device, like a laptop and like a desktop. But they just have different shapes, different formats, different pieces of technologies. Um, but these, is, these are the, essentially the hardware. Although here we also see images of the software. When we see an image of something inside, this is the software, right? But we're talking about the device itself, the physical uh, material uh, devices. That's the hardware components. And once we, of course, look into it, I put an image here and we'll have some other images so you can kind of see inside of what it actually uh, looks like inside. And we'll talk more about that too when we talk about data. And here is also hardware of those data centers. So essentially also a computer hardware with motherboards like this, and but without a screen, because as we mentioned before, we don't really need a screen to see what's going on in every computer, as long as you have one screen, and then you can attach to all of these computers and make them all run or process your data. And also I put an image here of appliances like a uh, refrigerator, and a stove because what's happening nowadays, uh, we call this sometimes the internet of things, IoT, internet of things, is that computer chips uh, and computer processing uh, components are being placed into various physical devices and they can regulate and that they do in fact regulate and uh, command the actions of the devices. So you can put an app on your phone, the app is connected to the internet, the stove is also connected to the internet, the app sends via the internet a message to the stove to turn on and then the stove turns on via an app on your computer. So these are the things that are going on with hardware. So hardware nowadays can be of computers, small phones that you put in your pocket, but also large data centers and appliances like refrigerators and other things like cars and so on. So next, we will talk about software and operating systems.